Good morning, Daisy. Thank you for a good milking. Yeah, thank you. Daisy, some treats. Daisy, some treats. Such a good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. Such a beautiful morning today. All right, you're all free. Thank you. Still got some crumbs to eat. Yeah. Hi, Flossie. Hi, Flossie. What's up, T-Bone? Hi, Flossie. Oh, yeah. Sweet girl. My sweet girl. You got alfalfa nose. You got alfalfa nose. Good morning, by the way. Welcome to Stavers Homestead. On a good note, the turkeys are in the barn. They kind of did it on their own, and they've been staying in the barn, so that's really nice. So we're going to take down that electrical fence at some point, because nothing's in it. Y'all have been pretty good boys and girls. <laughs> yes, you have, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh-huh. Okay, then after I've gotten done milking the cow, Tilly and everyone else is normally done eating, so she gets to come out. Since we ain't gonna cross any peas. Oh, sorry, Tilly. Y'all have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day, Dolly. Besides this one hen, she's the only one that stays out. Yeah, you need to go home. Tell them, Guineas. Oh, you got that tongue going for me, Flossie? Yeah. Show everybody. <laughs> Two quick things about Flossie and Daisy. There she is. Um, a lot of people ask why Flossie does that with her tongue. 
it's actually just a characteristic and a personal like a personality trait of jersey cows I mean, there's really no rhyme or reason besides it's just her personality um some do it some don't no big deal on it um, but it's really funny and entertaining and then daisy we had a lot of questions come in um when jed was taking care of her while we were at the appalachian fair where her calf was daisy doesn't have a calf so we got her by herself in milk um i'm not sure what happened to her calf or when but i'm assuming it was sold um at some point so she is in milk without a calf so that's the the need for us to have to milk unlike flossy um who had a calf t-bone um and is weaning him off he's being weaned off right now um so she's drying up but I just want to clarify that on Miss O'Daisy. She has no calf to, that we can share with. All right, done with chores. And then here is our blueberries. And it's been running for almost 22 hours. And it's on extra dry time this time. Because we actually are going to need this, and we want to make sure it's completely dry. Like, completely. We want to make sure it's done right. So we're going to let the extra dry time go this round. And then we'll show you what they look like. It's nuts around this place today. Uh, we did get all of our blueberries packaged up. Um, stand by, we will taste test them for you all and tell you what we think. But meanwhile, we have a family event going on with putting tops and getting calendula done. Factory work. Factory work, straight up. Sweatshop, tunnel. <laughs> sweatshop. It's a sweatshop. So we've got these going, Grammy Cans helping out. We got this table loaded up. And we've got a bunch more to do today. So it's just all hands on deck. We are defrosting the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And I think we're gonna do cream next, aren't we? We're gonna freeze dry some cream that we have from our cows and see how that does. Come yeah, so, she needs to raise. <laughs> she just got here in this uh, whole situation. <laughs> she's been working on her heat press for Cricut, which is really cool though, um, because she's gonna be trying to make some coffee mugs and stuff and maybe it gets put into our store whenever we finally get it. Um, but yes, we're going to do cream and I know you're probably thinking in your head, fats, oils, you're right. So cream can be freeze dried. However, it's not that long 25 to 30 year shelf life. It's more like a short term one to five year, um, because of the oils, um, you can't really evaporate all that, not evaporate, but you can't but freeze dry all that. We can freeze dry it and then have it this winter to make butter once they see it. Yeah, exactly. So it'll be really cool. Once that defrost and once we get this done, we'll get the cream in. You don't have a tape measure, do you? What's, what's squatty? Is that too squatty? Too? Um, maybe just a tad. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it's gonna bend around that. Yes. Um, so that may be too big, actually. Maybe. This is the, I'm gonna do four, you know, not from top to, it's gonna be four. Yeah. And then the best I could measure with a hard ruler, cause you don't have a. We got one that bends. Gotta, oh, where is that? Here, let me get it. That on so. Oh, is that what she had last night? Well, I'll be. Well, I'll be. So, you have to leave a little... Which, look, I mean, so like, we have some, hang on. Like, you don't want it to wrap too far around. You right. want to be able to sit on one. So, I would almost measure that. I know it's a different cut, but that might help That's you. That's true. Because these cool. are 15 ounce. All right, keep up the good work. <laughs> Hi, babe. Okay. We're working hard. Yeah. All right, she's gotten our trays clean for cream. Blueberries make a mess. Yeah, they do. It's very sticky and very weird. I got, where do the blueberries go? On top of the freezer. No, the ones that had in the bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. Yeah. All right, so we wanted to taste test them with you all. So here they are. And. It's weird, they look like raisins. They do look like raisins. Let's see if they taste like raisins. Okay. I hope not, because I don't like raisins. It's so crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So the best thing that I could compare it to, uh, texture-wise, why it's in this state, is a Captain Crunch berry. Yeah. Now, obviously, there's no sugar. This, I mean, it's a natural sugar. That's what it tastes like, like the little berries that yeah. are in the cereal. That's exactly what it is, but it still looks like it. They're really good. It's amazing. You got nice, such a good crunch to it. Yeah. I wouldn't even uh, really hydrate these. Mm -hmm. I would just eat them like a snack like this. Yeah. 
Did you still throw them in ice cream or yeah. on toast, whatever you wanted to do? And any, that's the one thing about freeze drying that you gotta remember, it doesn't have to be rehydrated in water. Right. Um, like if you wanted to make cereal, like you could almost put this in yeah. milk and it would start rehydrating. And if you put it on top of ice cream, the moisture would soak in. Yeah, exactly. And it is. So or yogurt. Good. Put them in yogurt. So blueberries are a big win. That was a big one. I like it. All right. So now we're going to try this cream. Like we said, this is going to be a short shelf life because it's going to be oily. We don't go yeah. over the lip. Don't go over the lip. Oh, oh that's done. Hi. I don't know. You did. You need no, a, need a picture. picture. Yeah. yeah. We need a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered in it. Ellie. Covered in cream. Ellie. <laughs> no. Okay, reassessing. Okay, which one of these should I print that on? I don't know. It needs to be solid. Brown? Oh, it's cold and heavy. All right. So she's putting it in a measuring cup now. That's a little bit better idea than trying to flop it from so high up. Okay, so sometimes, you know, cream, how it is, it can get little clumps of cream. So I'm just whisking that so that it's evenly spread. Sorry. <laughs> she falls and I'll like clip it and I'm like, oh, she's done, but she wasn't done. She wasn't done. She freed my mind. My bad. <laughs> this is part that I got to start remembering. Before you do it, it has to cool back down because the first part is freezing, the second part is drying. So when it's over, it's warm. Um, and so it has to cool itself back down for 15 minutes before you can put stuff in. It'll get there. What's it doing? It's bubbling. <laughs> yeah, it's bubbling out. We had a disaster, disaster, folks. That's um, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, and I don't. Oh, there's some sour. What happened, babe? <laughs> well, honestly, don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so we put the cream in, started the process, and then it started bubbling and bubbling over. It was like a volcano. Yeah, it was like a volcano. We don't know, so we got a major mess to clean up, and of course, it had to be milk. So we definitely got to clean it up good. And everything I read said, do not use. Soapy water. We need to use regular, just warm water um, to clean this thing out. But yeah, we got a we got a mess. From the H. Okay, so let's give you something successful real quick. Show them your cup. Oh, cup. Yeah, First so one. it's awesome. You can't feel any grooves. It's literally in the cup. That's pretty neat. Pretty nifty work, Karen. So Jen and I made the big mess in the freeze dryer. So this video has turned into how to clean your freeze dryer. 100% unintentional. Um, but I guess it's important to know and now we got to clean it. So here you go. Okay, so we got milk in here. That obviously can't be there, right? So we're gonna take this thing off. And it just pops off. And it's just got a groove that's all the way around. And that's what sticks it on there. And that allows you to take this thing out. However, hang on, first I gotta take these trays out. Okay, get those out. We tried to get some water, it was the whole thing. All right, you also need to make sure you're unplugged. Okay, once you're unplugged, you can take this bad boy out now. So it slides out. Now the one thing to remember is it's got a wire connection on the back. So we're gonna drop it down like this. Sit on my trash can there. And you got this clip that's right here. Um, it's just got a little button to push. 
So it's just got a little button just like you would and that pops out right there. Set this to the side. And then now we can set this to the sink. And then here's the inside. So you just got this one cord and then way back there's your little drain hole. And as you can tell, we got milk all up in it. So that ain't cool. So we're gonna use just a little bit of bleach water, barely any bleach, um, and then water, and then we're gonna run it down the drain hole. Oh no. Okay, so I got the chunks out because it's like trying to make ice cream. Good Lord. Um, so now I got just a little bit of bleach water here. Just barely used any bleach, just a top full. I'm gonna spray it in there and clean this bad boy out. Okay, once you've gotten that cleaned out, and this guy cleaned out she's nice and pretty all again and dried up you don't want it to taste like bleach water so you want to put some bleach water in here i actually have the hole in the back or the whatever it's called hey. i'm making messes again i want to open this up over here oh, oh god Okay, what I was trying to tell you before I made another mess is you want to run some hot water down your hole back here so it'll actually clean out the pipe too. Now, you can take all that off and use a little scrubber to do it. However, we should be good by just running the bleach water through and the hot water through. Now, I'm going to dry it and put it back together. If we look using the views today, it's because we are. <laughs> this is one of those days. I think uh, when I shot the chore, wow, the chore stuff this morning, I was like, it's going to be a good day. And it was a good day. Don't get us wrong. Um, a lot of things just didn't go exactly as planned, I guess. Uh, we had a lot to do today, a lot. Um, the freeze dryer, the blueberries turned out amazing. Like we said, they tasted like Captain Crunch berries. Those were awesome. We absolutely loved them. We didn't try the milk. We had the overflow situation, which we did it as they like they said to do, but apparently it was still too much. Yeah, so, that was kind of disheartening. Yeah, so that was the, the whole thing there. <clears throat> um, we have officially gotten over like 1,500 salves done, um, which is amazing. Thank you all again. Uh, we are going to start shipping them tomorrow. Yep. So, well, I guess while you're watching this, we are going to start shipping them uh, out. A um, couple more little quick housekeeping things. This is just for people that are aware, um, want to be aware. Green stock uh, vertical garden planters. You all know that we have some of those. Um, they are having a Labor Day sale. So from right now through the seventh, I want to say is the the day that they're having to sell through. Um, 109 for the normal ones um, and then if you use our code stivers our last name s-t-i-v-e-r-s you'll take another ten dollars off yeah they're pretty cool they are so just wanted to make you aware um and then lastly we have some new merch out there yeah. so a lot of people request you know they wanted some stive tribe stuff and everything and stickers so we have gotten all those out there some new stuff for the month um that's at the um you can go in there and see all the new things that we have it's pretty cute stuff it is really cool uh, yeah, it's a really awesome. Kayla just does great work for us yeah. in the design area and go show her some love mm -hmm. on her appreciation of what she creates for us. But other than that, we did baseball and here in just a minute we gotta go pick up random from cheerleading. Went to the grocery. Went to the grocery. That was a madhouse. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Anything yeah, else? there's more to do. We're not done. I was trying to tell them. No. I know there's more to do. We still gotta get labels on these tins. <laughs> all right y'all well sorry for like the crazy video but at least you got to learn how to clean a freeze dryer yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't subscribed make sure to down below we love you <laughs> bye no, i was gonna say it was until the next one i don't remember see ya okay. <laughs> <laughs> i remember what i was gonna say hope you all have a great labor day weekend